It's a difficult topic, but it affects so many people. Breast cancer, it's a difficult battle, but it's a lot easier when you detect it early. And here with new advancements in technology, our, with our breast cancer screenings and also with the treatment, it's Dr. Elizabeth Argullis. Good morning, doctor. Thank you. It's good to have you on with us this morning. I know we've been kind of getting into a lot about new technology and how it's really helping out with, you know, diagnosing and also treating breast cancer. And first, it just starts with, you know, awareness of new technology. So one thing I wanted to talk about was dense breasts, because that was the first thing I asked you, like, what? I don't know what the difference is between that and a non-dense breast, but what does that mean? Sure. So breasts are made out of gland and fatty tissue, and the makeup of the breast is really up to your genetics. So there's nothing you can really do to make your breast more dense or less dense. Um, but people who are found to have a denser or higher concentration of glands in the breast can have up to a fourfold increase in breast cancer. So it's very important to always do yourself breast exams and also to go for screening tests. So some new screening tests that have been developed in addition to the regular mammography is something called 3D mammography or tomosynthesis. So tomosynthesis allows the radiologist to page through the dense breast tissue. So you still go into a normal mammography machine. Okay. It will take several images while it's being done, um, and then they can really get into it and look at it. If, and it's, is this something that like is gonna, my insurance is not gonna cover, or I mean, will it cover it? Most insurances cover it. Um, anyone can ask for it. If it's not covered, it's about 60 to $65, and well worth it if they're gonna detect your cancer early. Okay, so you can just ask your doctor when you schedule your normal, you know. Correct, or you can exam. ask at the mammography unit. Other thing that has been recently uh, uh, released is that the American College of Radiology is now recommending screening MRI for anyone who has been diagnosed with cancer with dense breasts or anyone diagnosed with cancer prior to the age of 50 with any breast density. So that's very important to ask about too. And now I know we also want to talk about the new advances in the lumpectomies if you are diagnosed sure. and also the mastectomy. So I sure. want to get into that while we have some time. Sure. So surgical treatment of breast cancer has improved tremendously throughout the years. Uh, now we are doing surgeries using plastic surgery techniques called hidden scar lumpectomies and mastectomies, uh, where we actually change the position of the incisions to hide them in the areola underneath the breast um, along the axilla. We move the tissue around so that when the breast is treated and you're done with the cancer, the breast looks the same as before. Before. Sometimes with the mastectomies, we can even um, do intraoperative perfusion angiography where we look at the blood flow that is left of the flap that is left there, even though the nipple and areola have been left. And if it's good enough, we can put an implant right in on the table. And it's phenomenal for women because they go in to get their cancer treated and they actually wake up looking like they had a breast augmentation. Wow. I mean, yeah. I, there's just, there's so much technology, so many big words and a lot of misconceptions about things. So where can we go to get more information? And of course, to make a consult, like just schedule a consultation to get more details. Sure. So you can, we have a website, it's um, swflbreast.com. Um, and we definitely have a lot of information. We even have information about new for the lumpectomies localization using Savvy Scout, which is a little radar reflector instead of an old fashioned wire so that we can find the cancers um, and more comfortably do it and have it placed even 30 days prior to surgery. I would say get online and definitely make sure that you uh, get all of this information because there's just so much new that we have to learn. Thank you so much for being on with us this morning, doctor. Thank you so much for having us. And you can learn more on this segment by logging onto our website, fox4morningblend.com.